No lo siento mucho, señor. Can I get to you who fuck us, señor? I can, I can, I know some words in Spanish that probably you should not be saying in front of this microphone. No, because those are the ones you should be saying. Those are the ones that every Spanish person will teach you first before you learn any part of the language. He's not wrong. Those words. He's not wrong. Yeah, he's not wrong. So if you can just be on the chat, share it on the YouTube page. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So Carol is doing her full time, which is Spanish. Gotcha. Okay, cool. At the fence, this one is makeable, and she's gonna make it. Nice pickup. Right now, Cheryl Mitchell. We have access to the WCS. Up by okay. I do, right I do, now, I do. Kent. It feels like Terry decides to throw a double team to take the lead now. I, I know Julio Hernandez, obviously. Uh, him, he used to uh, run tailgate. So him and I have a good working relationship with each other. And yes, we're going to be talking smack to each other. That's but the most that, friendly one. That's the most important part. That makes it that much better. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's different. There, there was an incident. And I'm not going to mention too. But there was an incident where there was an announcer that sort of took, took it a little bit too seriously, and then he basically had his mouth handed back to him after the match. See what I'm saying? You got to be careful out here. You got to really, really, really be careful. Mike's Talk not going to do that. Mike's a cool guy. Talking about it, you got to back it up at some point. You know what I'm saying? You got to back it up. Yes, you can't talk true. about it. Don't be about it. You have to. As, as commentator, you never want to be part of the story. <laughs> Joy is on the lanes, not behind the mic. At least I hope. But that story is... Another corner pick. Now, okay. Pelota está muy, muy izquierda, señor. In Spanish, that means your ball went right left. Ah, okay, good. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> Mi español está así, sí, pero mis palabras están un poquito más bien. I have people shaking their heads at me. I, either that means that, that it's funny or I'm insane. They'll look for like this and go nutty at me. And I'm one of the people sitting there like, you know what? Okay, good. You have that portion. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm going to sit back and let you have that portion. <laughs> <laughs> I used to call number one, two single pin misses, quarter pins at that. Yeah, my mic, that's, that's a no-no. That back, looks good. Come back for 10. Okay, okay, okay. Needed that, he needed that. Yeah, I, I agree with you, definitely needed that. Strikes would be good. Spares also do work. They do help your bowling game, Mike, right? Spares, 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 Spares win championships. I don't care where you are, they win championships. Squad. JR is now ready to pay. Out in the meeting room again. If you are here from the 9 a.m. squad, we are now doing payout inside the meeting room. The payout will be on the right hand side of the meeting room. Again, if you vote the 9 a.m. squad and you're waiting for payout, you can go inside the meeting room. All right, show Mr. Hepkin completely, but it's a very easy spare for it. Also, just another announcement in regards to the check in for 1.30. The information that you saw on the Facebook page, again, every team representative from a team at least should still check in. Those were not the lane assignments that you saw on the Facebook post. Again, all teams must check in. So, Mike, how often have you been involved in games where there's been no striking and it's really just been an experience you can make? Losing fumble. <laughs> but, but most of the time, depending on what the house you're in and how the conditions are, I rarely see that it's, it's usually strikes being thrown. But here today, the shot was kind of tough today. A lot of people have um, issues with their ball recovery, getting back to the pocket, so it's kind of protective. I've seen, I saw a lot of little scores, like yes. more than usual. Yes, it was. It really was. That's a normal bowling normal shot today. It really wasn't bad. So right now, the ball's going to a little bit. Oh, it's out of trouble. You can see three That's easy, mate. Wait, this match looks spares might win. Might make a few spares. Might get past this match. One of the things I've said, and I've said this more than not, the lanes will tell you how the match is going to be. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking over here at Uncapped Tag, there's a 172 on the board of 9-3, man. It looks like they're winning. So, you never yes. know. Spares are special, too. Spares are important. All the time. Just don't want to cover right there. I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge strike bowler, but I can score all that. And in this specific case, that's helping out Cheryl immediately right now. And that's and, what you mean. I mean, you got to look at it this way also. Uh, 
Julio right now has got two wives on the real strike, but he's got three open. Yes. In order for him to get back into this, if Charles is going to keep going spares out, that's a lot of pressure for him to actually start carrying it. Especially if he's not making his spares, but again, he missed two easy ones. Seven hit and ten. Got to cover those. Do. That, that is a cure for not sparing, is throwing a bunch of strikes. Not for not striking, not to worry about sparing. Gives him a double or four. Not now. Let's see, so right now, theoretically, if he'll carry off this strike to seven, regardless of the mess that he's left in the beginning of the game, he's cleaning up and takes a hand. He will definitely take a hand. He's at least. So you've got people that can strike all day and not make spares, so it's either 250 or 120, or you have someone like Cheryl. And yeah, she can string, but this is her game. Yes, she's definitely she's got a lot of She's making spares. And again, spares help you win at the end of the day. Sure. Okay. Right, so the double got her back in the game. Now, here's the question. Will he make her spare? So, because if he does, it'll be his first one in the match. He beat me to it. My next statement was, okay, now we have a spare opportunity here. And he's 0 for 3 with spares. <laughs> <laughs> This rate, <laughs> Cheryl's taking pretty simple making these spares. Well, if Cheryl keeps walking, she's going to put a lot of pressure on Julio. Now, if you're not making these spares, then you have to strike to get back into the game. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I mean, it's one thing to miss a corner spare, so another thing to miss kids in the middle of the night. It's a makeable square. It's been tough today. Again, everybody, when I watched it earlier today, just couldn't get the ball to the head. Like, no matter what you did, what you threw, it was hard to get the ball to the head. Back. So, again, spares are needed today. You had to make your spares. Oh, Like, you needed that one, yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that, that was the best one. That's the winner. Here's Arsenal, who by the... Uh-oh. She pulled one. And the Arsenal, who has won the uncapped tackle pool, looks like they're going to take game one. It looks like it'll be 194 to 2. Okay. I'm sorry, 2 to 194. Yeah. Right away, there. But a great strikeout in the 10th for the only winning. Go to the damn ball, anime. Sure, Dad. Not bad. Not bad. Let's follow over here. Five hit game between Carol and Lulu. It seems to me, and you've been in this position. Is it just me or do both bowlers look a little bit tentative here in this game? They do. Again, they look uncomfortable because the, the, it's the mains. Mm -hmm. I'm sure with the same thing right there, not that bad. The mains are not just the rules, I guess, for their pass, where they are with their bowlers. So now you have to make a difference to get the ball to the pocket to carry at least, but they're not even getting the ball to the pocket. So again, it's all about spares. You gotta make spares the way the shot looks. Yeah, it's just. You know, and some people say, well, they're welterweight, welterweight score. It hasn't been a welterweight score during an holy. I mean, you, you've had, we had the classic tag team uh, titles earlier, and I was just struggling. And those are two of them. Oh, hey, where are you going with that ball? All the way back, okay. All right. Had, a, me wrong had, there. had, a, had both of us move for a second. Yeah. 10 is 10. Good shot there. Which was needed, by the way. Absolutely. Down five. Questions. You needed that. He definitely needed that. Cheryl right now was up by five and she's got a strike. So right now, Julio cannot shut Cheryl out. Cheryl goes out the door and there's nothing Julio can do. Cheryl can go for 197. Uh, this strike would be huge because that puts a lot of pressure on him. That will put the strike out. If he doesn't do a strike, that would give Cheryl some more room. If he opens that really gives Cheryl some more And on here. Yep, what a split. Again, the ladies have been forgiven today. It's been hard to get the ball back to the pocket. It's not really easy to do. Not easy at all. 
or 810, there's a lot of this in the tag team match. Like, did you go on this one? I bowled, I bowled on hold, yes, I bowled today earlier today. And we had the same issue. But like, everybody in a pair, ball was like, kind of fighting to get back to the pocket after the first game. The first game, it was kind of okay. But after that, the carry down kind of like, made it tough for the ball to help with the back to the pocket. He gets through it. It, it looks like, I mean, it, it really looks like there's a huge, like that back end is vicious. The, the, the carry down, like in, in, the, in the front part of the lane, the ball will give you a little bit of movement, but on the back end, it just dies on the back end. It was not going to give you no turn on the back end. So, right now, you're talking about making marks. If Cheryl makes two, that'll give her, if she goes first strike for that, put her in 160s. The best that will give you is 160, and that's if he strikes out. So, two marks here should win. Seven count again. It's just hard to get the ball back to the pocket. But again, Spares, Spares are going to win this match the way it looks so far. She goes to Spares. She wins. All Spares, exactly. All Spares. Spares win again. So, I mean, all she really has to do here is, is make the spare. Again, Mr. Mills is late. She hasn't had an issue with that. Watch me takes everybody now. <laughs> but she hasn't had an issue with that. And then just a simple spare because Frank, she's going to win. And she only can win. Again, spares my championships. You hear people say it all the time. You can't strike, you definitely gotta make your spare. And she definitely did that this game. Kept coming up. It's real simple. Here. Uh, Cheryl Marks, she wins, and she goes up one If she opens, and Julio goes out the door, she wins. And apparently, Julio can only strike. Julio can't make sure. He can only strike. That's true. He can only strike. This is for game one. And she gets it. Black, a cut. Black. She did it. Okay. That's the one. Right now, she needs four pins in the combination of two points. Thank you, get it out. I, I, would, I would not bet against that. Yeah. That well, I would, I would bet with that. And I'm confident she definitely will get that, which will give her game one. So talk to me a little bit about the structure of this game, game here because I could say spares are better than strikes, even though people would stare at me like yourself. What are you talking about, buddy? <laughs> but this game, right now, game one, right. everybody's fine. Again, this right. the lanes are just tough today. It's not the typical normal ball around the shot where the ball usually gets to the right and just screams back to that. It's been hard for the ball to come back for both of them today. And again, for example, the ball is just not turned. So spares are definitely going to win this match. You have to definitely make these spares. You have to. By the way, the person that she's arguing with, because you're going to see the video, the person that she's arguing yes. with is her husband, yes. DMX. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dwayne, Dwayne Mitchell. Dwayne also <laughs> fell through Dwayne, who also, I believe, has won the uh, World's Way title before. Nah. Okay, never mind. He got close. I know he got down three, three, three nuts. Yeah. Oh. Walk down for being up 3-0. He got walked down. So it does look like there's a ball change here. That looks good. Not bad. Not bad. Good ball change. However, I, I get to use one of my phrases, one of my favorite phrases here, which is he finally figured out how to lock the bar, how to lock the bar door after the horses have eaten the children. <laughs> And I'm gonna give you our saying close to that. Everybody's going home now. So it doesn't matter what, doesn't matter how many strikes you're throwing now, everybody's going home. Yeah, so, that's true. so they going home now. Right, right now, this first game, he went home. <laughs> well, there, there it is, but too little, too late. At the end of game one, Cheryl Mitchell, 165. Julio, 159. Cheryl makes Lady Boss. Takes game one, one zip. The Lady Boss made spares that game. Julio missed two easy single face spares that cost him the game. But he did make a ball switch for the 10th frame, and that ball looked really, really good. So should be a better game, too, for him. And this is why we call yeah. it the Pepper Punch? No. It's us at Pepper Punch. No, the Pepper Punch. The what? Pepper Punch. Uh, 
Don't make me go out there and qualify uh, and try to win the welterweight title there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Don't make me do it. I don't think anybody wants to ever see me, bro. Guess what? Everybody would love to see you, bro. They would. My team, they would be standing off. How are you? So Cheryl will start the first game as she leaves once again to make one So if you are just tuning in, I'm Gordon Pepper. This is Michael Booty Booty Shaw. Good job. Good job. Thank Good you. Job. Good job. I want to say poodle, but it's not. It's booty. <laughs> booty Booty Shaw. And uh, so far. Welterweight champion has struck first. Cheryl Mitchell leads 1-0 over Julio Hernandez. And Cheryl with another spare. Again. Cheryl hasn't thrown many strikes, but she hasn't needed to. Bears are going to win this game. And she's doing exactly what she needs to do by making her spares. Let's put it this way. It's going to win this game, especially after what we saw in game one. Advantage Mitchell. I see Julio does this ball change. And his ball looked good in the check frame. Again, a little bit more reaction. His ball was moving a little bit more. Now, Julio has won the welterweight title three times. Okay. So his first two title defenses, he lost. Really? First time to Naomi Reese. The second one to Joe Moore Rock Pound. Naomi Reese on her tonight. Let's see if that strikes here. It does not. And now he's got to figure out how to make the second Where is he? So, I think, you know what? I'm going to bet her. This will be the prey that he makes his first spare tonight. His spare will be made. I like the spare. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I told you earlier about this, okay? We want, to, we want to go with this. We want to go with this. Spare me. Spare me. Oh, he's going to make it. Hey! Okay, way to go. Way to go. Way to go. He had, had to have a I am sorry that I doubted you, Julio. <laughs> but your spare shooting has been terrible so far. <laughs> and you missed the freaking six catches. You had by itself. the odds were in your favor the to make that bet. in my favor. <laughs> You had to also make that bet. That's true. But again, Spares are definitely going to win this match. You have to make Spares. Absolutely. Alright, this is an easier one. He should make this match. Start to count again. Hard. Struggling to get back to the pocket, but. A make a boost spare for himself, which he needs to start making if he wants to have a chance to win this match. He has to make spare. Absolutely. It, it does seem like, and correct me if I'm wrong here, it does seem like if you make a mistake, you're leaving the two, the four, the eight, or some yes. combination, and sometimes it's definitely because, good. Because the ball's not getting back to the one three, no matter what they're throwing, the ball is having a hard time getting back to the one three, so yes, you're right. Looks like he got this one. Slow that one down. Yeah. Hey, two, two back to back spares. It's almost like he won a championship back to back spare. After a first game of <laughs> after the first game of being over five in spare. Come on, come on the gate for two for two for your spare. Good job. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It really did. So we, we don't want to we mentioned that great ball change. Definitely good ball change. So the fun thing about the UBA is that we can chat around with the people and the players and yes. have some fun. Yes, definitely. Be silly. definitely. I miss Cheryl with oh, that, that I know. We saw up top, we saw up tight guys early on today. Yeah, we don't. But guess what? Even if I ran into one of those, I make it comfortable for you. You'll have so much fun. Don't worry about it. Up tight or not. <laughs> They know I'm up too. I, that's why I'm laughing with you. But they know I'm up too. Trust me, they know this. <laughs> so you're a known bum. That's what it is. You are a known bum. They know you. Yes, because, yes, they know you. Mitchell looking for her first double doesn't get at least a 2 4 5. I don't Kind of gone and then, like, trying to see who got, who got enough in the gas tank. Well, now, you bowled early, now, Julio bowled earlier. Did she, I don't know if Cheryl bowled earlier or not. She did. She did? Okay. I did not know that. Okay, so this is like game 6 through 13 right now. Looks like she'll make the spare. Oh, no, she does not. She stopped it. Julio has a chance for the lead now if he marks. If you mark. We'll find out if he can mark momentarily. Oh, boy, you were like, you were like, 
Hey, mom, mom. Let me go get this thing. Mike did not ask me if I wanted anything to store. <laughs> so, Mike had a frame right here. It was like, hey, look, Mike has the bowl to get it in like 30 minutes, and Mike hasn't eaten since breakfast. Can you please get me food? Oh, uh, well, okay. Breakfast is important. Thank Can you very much. And another strike. Okay. That's, that's his first strike this game. So, see if he strikes. Don't have to worry about his spare if he, if he strikes. He's excited about his striking. I would be more concerned about his spare making. <laughs> yes. Because it, it, it sort of availed him in the first game, which is why he's down 0 1. You need to save some of that energy for the spare. Yeah. with the double and the energy. You need the energy. You need the energy. He, 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 he sort of looks like the Incredible Hulk now with the green shirt. All right, it's, it's the hulking Julio at this point. Wait a second. All we gotta do is, is like try to find some slick green soup and you're like the Incredible Hulk. Why are <laughs> Right now, Carol is got no spare opportunity. I just got a bunch of people just staring at me. We're staring at, we're staring at you and just talk after all the spirits that you missed. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. This spirit, I think, was this bit. The entire house today was a bit. Okay, it was, it was rough like this today. It was hard today. So I look. And then Cheryl, with another spirit, with another spirit. With another spirit. Keeping yourself close to the game by making the spirits. They, another nice thing about spirits is that they will keep you, usually they'll keep you in the game. They keep you around. Right, that's, why, that's why I think spirits are important. I think everybody that goes at some point will find a way to strike. But when you can't strike, the lanes are a little, the conditions are a little tough. You have to make your space. You have to. Right now, that calls for the hook in. It's not. Yeah, Cheryl may have to do a ball change of her own. Yeah. But it looks like Julio yeah, has figured something out with his ball change. Julio went to a more aggressive ball that gives him room for the back end, which is turn. Mm -hmm. As to make sure her ball is just dying in the front edge, going back, it has no reaction. So definitely to make the ball change. And that ball's good for spares if it's turning into a spare. Contest, it's, all, it's, it's turning into a strike contest. Yes, because she, she's got the wrong equipment. She definitely has to switch. The, the, her, the, when it comes to her spares, she's throwing the ball straight at the head before her spares, so she's making it. But for her first ball, she's throwing the ball outside and it's not recovering to turn to the box. And speaking of which, ah, that one missed left. That's called an overcompensation serve. Huh? So Cheryl is in trouble in game two. What you call what? <laughs> I'm sick of you today. <laughs> It needs to be more like that. You get them and they, you know, they look at their sales, they know their game, but in the back of their mind, they're like, you know what? I love to compete, I love to fight, I'll go anywhere. Exactly. I love their heart. They don't they don't care at all. They will put their bowl to you when they bowl against anybody. Yep. I love that. Pull the bowl, I call them motivation. Yeah. Well, it did, huh? Well, it hooked. Yeah. It hooked a little bit high. Got away with just a four-pack. Spare time. should have been a little bit worse. Spare time. Okay. Yeah, well, hey, this here's is hard the, to get a lot Here's the moment. <laughs> here's the moment. <laughs> See, as I said, I'm going to be nice to you. And, and guess what? Valley. And guess what? I'm, I appreciate it. But if, but if he missed this spare, he's going to hear it from us. Oh, both of okay? us, yes. Yes, from us. He better make this spare. I may have to pull out America's new favorite game if he misses his spare. Looks like you got it. Yeah. Okay. He must have, again, he must have hurt us. <laughs> he must have heard us talking about you. That's what it was. Yeah, you heard, you heard us talking about you. That's what it was. <laughs> Julio, he loves his heart. So right now, Julio is up in the second count. Let's keep giving me good advice. Not a problem. Oh, we appreciate giving you good advice. Second half of game two. Right now, Julio is up by 32 pins. That is a decent size lead. As we go into the sixth frame. That 
Ball looks good, and it is. Right back in the It's Cario made an excellent ball switch, because this ball now gives him more reaction on the back end. Yeah, well, he's get, locked down on 29. They get, they get the ball to the bottom, yes. Yeah, he's locked down on 29. If he stays locked down on 30, then he will be taking game two goals away. I mean, he may have two game two goals away right now anyway. Unless you're able to figure out how to string right now, and that's not going to do it. Cool enough. Uh, one nothing sure. One, one, one over sure. So we are joined by Malachi Bar. Let's have Malachi over here. Malachi is the current Cruiserweight champion in the Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you, thank you. Now, you've got a match coming up uh, later on today. Yes, sir. Right next. Next match. Okay. 230, which I will be around for. I believe Mike will be around for all of I think Mike has the bowl at 2.30. Oh, okay, then Mike will be around. Actually, no, you mentioned the point. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be at 2.30, but because everything's going to happen later, so I'm going to make the match. Or if you think we'll be back with the game, I'll be there. I'll be there. We're only at 2.32. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to go with Brian Andy. Okay, okay, okay. That's going to be a good match. Brian Fulmer or Yeah, it's going to be a good match. I'm going to Brian Fulmer. Nothing like motivation, okay? Nothing like motivation to make it. It's, it's never it appreciated to see the peanut gallery going in <laughs> and telling the bowlers how to bowl. Uh, That's happened to me also. Uh, I didn't enjoy it, and I turned around and struck out on uh, more than one occasion. It made, when it anger me, takes over, anger is a good motivation. Yeah, yeah. It motivated me the last game against Raul. I said, I'm 279. So you, yeah, you were really motivated. Oh, yeah. Make sure open the seven you place there. Take out the match, then I'll, I'll take it in my own way. Nothing like that. Yeah. Easier that way, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good match, though. Uh, Raul was uh, very, very, very strong competitor. Uh, a good champion in the right. Uh, Julio, stop chatting. You're up. Julio. Julio. <laughs> we need to win this game. Though. Oh, okay. 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 I've seen her. Very hands, uh, very strong competitor. Julio well, doing his best Terrell Owens imitation. That's my team, babe! <laughs> That's my team! You better pay attention to this match, please. I was gonna say, the match is not over. That ball's got a snap, and it does. That was right for Julio. He got motivated by his teammates. Not like the ball switch, but I think Julio made a great, great, great ball switch. Yes. I know it takes it takes so many jewels worth of work there, yeah. <laughs> you could lose some weight, sir. You can use to lose some poundage. <laughs> Next weight that he's gonna be losing is gonna be. Everybody. Everybody. It's a fire with that number. Gives him a three back. I, I think I think we've motivated Julio, so I think that may be what's happening. We have motivated him a lot. Yeah, now, now Julio's gonna chat with some more of his friends while Cheryl Billy's making some friends. Yeah, but Cheryl wants to have a chance in this match here, in this game here. I, say, I, I do not think Cheryl has a has a, has a chance in this game. So this so this particular game might be over as far as the match goes. She's the final ball that gives us some reaction on throws like that on the cue. What are we talking about? That that wasn't that wasn't a ball change. That was a wrist change. Yeah, that, that was, was a, a that was him. They're both best of seven. This is game two. I know, I know, I know. Right. So right now, this is game two. So I don't know. Right. That's game two as well. No, no, no. no, no. That's, that's, that's game, game three. three. That's game three. They're so going to be think, one, one here. Yeah. That's two over there. All right. Goes up two up. So that, that may be done quicker. So yeah, that definitely will be done quicker. 
So as you can tell here, we're at the Unholy Alliance, and one of the things that we're chatting about right now is trying to get the oiler through here because this is a full house. Every single lane is being used for this tournament, and it's going to be like that the whole entire weekend. Even on Super Bowl Sunday, I believe they may be sold out on Super Bowl Sunday, and that's saying yes. a lot right there. Uh, on bonus Sunday, so they also on Sunday. It's 9 o'clock, yes, they are. And I'm going to be running the bracket squad for that, so it'll be fun. Is that Yeah. Okay. Are they not AM? So the chair right now, and again, if you're up one zip, you can afford to do that. Yes. <laughs> I think what you also have to do is try to, you know, try to find yeah. you a shot. And yeah, now she's got to figure something out, because right now Julio is locked in. Julio is all the way locked in. When I mean great ball change, I mean great ball change. Which now makes game one even more blurring because if he made a couple of spares, he'd be, be up too low. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Booty boot. The man. How are you, sir? I'm better now. I see you. Hey, look, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. We're here for Ray. I'm just the other guy. Yeah, that's what you are. I'm just the other guy. Mr. Ray. I'm inconsequential. Which is fine. This is one of those. Guys on that show, right? Say it again? Guys on that awful show. I see the only thing he's worse at than his speaking on TV as well. He's throwing that green ball too, though. So, again, when he made the balls with us, I said, hey, who's the green ball? John Harding to the tournament room, please. John Harding to the tournament room. Only us. So, anyway, Julio on the awful show that he's no longer part of, by the way. Um... Is he going to make a spare? No. Why would he want to do yeah, that? I mean, it's a Why spare. spoil the reputation so, of the yeah. image? He has I think to. Eight miles an hour, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at least you're consistent on the square shooting. What? Uh, he's always happy. Yeah, yes, he was. You want to talk to about him? Yes, he was. Oh, no, he loves you. He loves you. He'll love me more when he sees the top ten, which means he won't love me at all. See, Cheryl can make her seven pins. Yeah, but you I can just strike a lot, but Cheryl can make her seven pins. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the ball I'm, I'm sorry? Right? With the ball of the ball of the she is. Yeah, absolutely. So now, now I'm getting, I'm hearing it from all sides. This is entertaining and fun. That's so, what this is about. Of course. At the end of game two, Julio Hernandez, 223, Cheryl Mitchell, 149. We are tied at one game apiece for the ultimate title. And Julio will start game three without him chatting with half the crowd. Trying, I need to try to keep the energy up, the spirits up. The ball change allowed it to be one to one, so that was a good ball change. So now we have a one to one game. What's the, what's the, the green ball. The, before you go bold, had you made your spare in the first game, it would be two zero instead of one to one. Just want to remind you of that, okay? He doesn't like spares. Yeah, pretty much. I know. I know. I know. Thank you. Yes, you need water. Not a problem. I want to say my friend Jennifer bought me wings and french fries, and I'm going to share with Gordon. I'm going to put these in the middle so we can share these. We are going to share these. Sherry is caring. Okay? But Mike needs food. Okay? Knock stuff out. This is good Right now, Julio starts with a good strike. I think what it is, is that there was a big match thing that was listed on top. And that's one person being his usual kind, happy self. No, I, I, I know who that is. 
I, I am aware. If there was tea, I would just be drinking it at this moment. So see, that's where he comes in. Because you know me. Yeah, I would, yeah. I, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Now you can just dress the We are now day three. What do I so yeah, so basically, this has been labeled a business match. It is not a slow up weight match. It will be fixed. In both. If you're right now looking to fix your spare, and if she's not going to do that, she's going to leave the one too. Now, we, we were making fun of Julio missing his spares in game one. Now, Cheryl's going to be missing her spares in game three. And her spares, again, got her to win in game one. They kept it kind of close to game two because she had to get back to making her spares. And again, this is a Walter Weight match. Yes. It was labeled as a fiction match by mistake. I'm going to bring it Don't worry about it. It will be changed, but this is a Walter Weight match. Not a big match. By the way, chatting with him is Bobby Reese and his wife Naomi Reese. By the way, Naomi Reese or Namika Reese or Yoshi. Yoshi. One of the people that has defeated Julio Hernandez for the title. Hello, Yoshi. How are you doing? How are you? I am good. How are you doing? All right. So you're, you're seeing the once and future thing. Any thoughts of, hmm, you know, that belt looks really good around my waist again. Yes, I can't wait. So now I will be from my area, so I can't be biased, but I will say this. I am really waiting for her to get her opportunity to get the belt back and bring it home. I'm sorry, I had to say that. I'm sorry. Uh, Malachi wants to be a prize. Everybody wants to step out. Now step out. Yes, you can. Now step out. We gotta eat. Yes, sir. Yes. That's about. Gotta defend his his crucial time. These are really good. Alright, so now we've already seen Carol miss a spare. Julio also misses a spare. Now you got it. Looks like looks like he's out the right shot here. He has found the spare game. The spare game was missing. He's found the spare game. He looks like a very different bowler after game one. I don't know who this guy is. So, so who bowled game one? I don't know who you are then. I have no clue who you are. Maybe Bobby Reese bowled game one. Got it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's what it was. No problem. Romeo. Yeah. <laughs> What was that smell? Right, it's a nine count for me, Cheryl. The way that she threw her ball, she was real lucky to get nine on it. Nine is a win, the way that ball is. We'll check nine all day. <laughs> now, let me ask you one question. You've seen how she's throwing the ball. Let's just say you're in that situation where you're thinking to yourself, right, switch. If you know that you're not going well, you switch the ball just to force yourself to make a change. Regardless, or do you have to say, hey, listen, I gotta throw the ball better? It depends on how you feel about what you're throwing the, the, at the release point. If you feel as though that you are throwing it good and it's not giving you the reaction, then yes, you have to make the ball change. But in your mind, if you know you're just throwing it bad, and that's why you get the bad read, you tell yourself, let me throw one good shot with this ball to see if it's the ball. Because you know you haven't been throwing it good at all. But the way this looks for her, and again, this, this is with me with these four eyes looking at it. I think she's the ball up to throw a ball that gives her more back end. Because that ball right there gives us not time. No matter what, no, no matter what ball, that ball is just not the ball. She needs to switch to go something a little bit more aggressive. Funny because DMX was yelling at her at the end of game one, wondering why he hasn't told her, ball, change your ball. So again, I know, I know of her. 
and I was sitting here watching that, and somebody else asked me, and I said, I think he, I'm not sure exactly what he told her, but they were having a conversation about it, but she's still doing the same vulnerable and get the same reaction. She definitely needs to ball up and throw a heavier ball. Let me give her more turn on the back end. Insanity is constantly defined as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That it is. Definitely that. Ball return? I got it. Okay, back. It's back. It's back. Yeah, good. You're, you're up next. They pay your overtime while you work for the Don't worry about that. I want to see you just throw the ball. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I, don't, I don't have a, a dog in the fight. I can't pick a side, but if you leave a spare, for the people that's watching, they want to they, they want to you, see you do that with Mr. Sure. They want to see you come to spare. Julio Hernandez right now is zero for two on seven pins today. Again. You know, if you throw strikes, you don't have to worry about spares. That's, that, most, that's usually what happens. People always say the most important about spares is making them. But if you don't leave them, that negates the most important part. You don't have to shoot them if you don't leave them. Was Gordon and Mike back here chewing hot wings and french fries? I hear them. Mike, Mike and Gordon are eating with your french fries right now, by the way. We are. We're eating. French fries are very tasty right now. Mike has been here all morning. <laughs> A little, a little bit of food. I, I, I think Bobby Lee should get us some french fries right now. That's what I think. <laughs> I'll take a water. Get me a hard water. Hard water is good. No drinking well, is for me. Well, he looked at Mr. Reese and offered to get us food. I just knew Mr. Reese was going to offer a beer. I knew that was coming. I knew it. All right, he left the fourth pin. That's uh -oh. the seventh pin. Okay. It's close to the seventh pin. It's just it's not the seventh seven. pin, though. It's not the seventh pin, though. It's not. It's not. Good thing it won't shock me if he missed this. <laughs> Here you go again. Again, the odds are with you. We see the missed up to the left. Let's find out. That should get there, right? Yeah. There we go. You would have missed it if it was a seven. All right. Well, all right. You know, I might have made a seven. You might have. Oh no. No. Oh no. 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 The panel judges say. Right, yeah. Might have been close. Might have been close. Might have been close. I'm gonna get a ball of 500 grit and just throw it at the front of the seventh year. Excuse me. right now. Turn, turn, she's down by around 30. There's a strike. Let's go. Hey, go, man. If you want to accent, I'm trying to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money. Easy way for you. As much as we're having fun at Julio's expense, this is still a game, especially if you throw the strike. Man, Julio's going to fight to the end. There is no quit. No way there. Ah, that's seven. Again, the names are off the game today. If you miss right, it's going to hang his name. Julio's going to get a lot further out than she is. Julio's going to get further out, he's going to get slower. Yes. And he's definitely going to put a round of hard to get the people to turn for the back which is helping him carry also the tempo. I mean, Sheldon's Howard is there, but not from the location that she's going to get. Not from there. No, it's, it's staying right there and out the ball to not have no turn or back there, which means she's missing the head pass all day. But the spares are there. Now, that was the first ball. It's a great first ball. Not, not a strike ball. She's still got a still too high in there, but still a good first ball. That's not going to happen. Yeah, I put it on wings and leave. All 
Everybody knows what's happening right there. I told them, Mike needed to eat. I told Gordon, I I told Gordon we're going to eat. And I told the people, don't worry. I'm my friend. He, he's a growing boy. He See? Knows. See? That's what happens. Let me go to the source here. I'm told that you've got like, what, five kilos of gas? They got a full, a half or a full gallon of gas. Yeah. It would be hard to view with the fullness of his spare game because of high depth. Is there, is there some credibility there? Everybody has seen his spare game. What's the spare game? Yeah, game one, there wasn't a spare game. Let's get that straight. Well, that's because his, his spare game is sponsored by Gatorade Zero. Zero. <laughs> and guess what? Oh, Again, baby. if he keep doing that, who is going to worry about spare Who needs a spare game? He needs spare if he does that. Fair enough. It's one one here. It's one one. Alright, we're going into seventh frame. While we have all this anarchy going around me, we're going into seventh frame. Julia right now is just like 24. Another straight here, he's got a swing and sweet, and he's just running out of frame. If he doesn't do this right there, so he'll be right back to this game. If he opens here, so he'll get right back to this game. Right now, so Never. Okay. And, and why is it an open, Mr. Reese? Because? Because he's sponsored by Gatorade Zero. Again, <laughs> you want to make space. Okay, so, so now we're going to go into America's favorite game, White Left or Gutter. Sorry? America's favorite game right now. White Left or I like him to make the space. I, 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 I know. I kind of like the blue, the blue board. I like him to make the same. Uh, That's fair, uh, The blue lane's gonna win. Uh, the blue lane wins. Congratulations, Bobby Reese. <laughs> Bobby Reese. Bobby Reese, again, the winner of America's favorite That's game. a seven pin in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> All right? That's still a seven. That's the seven pin in reverse. Mark Colinari, please teach him how to make seven pins and ten pin spares. It's nine people back here. I was the only one on your side that said you're gonna make that. The pin you usually uh, make. Uh, 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 Meanwhile, Cheryl with a strike here. Ah, come on! Oh, there you go, baby. Almost got robbed. Excellent. <laughs> Be sure we'll do everything in her power so, to fight more, back. That's what it is. We're going to fight back. Now, here's the crazy thing. If Cheryl gets a strike here, it's a, it's, it's a two-pin game at this point. And her song came on, so you got to watch And her song came on. She's ready. Again, everybody found their own motivation, man. You don't know. I told him on his live chat, uh, Smurfing, aka uh, royalty on the line, uh, on the lane. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey! Uh -oh. So, as he skated on her in the first game, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm walking away with it. And I told him, as, as I did that, and I, as I seen that, I said, don't underestimate each other. You know, the, you know, there was somebody that Julia had mentioned to a couple of months ago for Angel Steel Slide. Steel Slide. Steel Slide. Hey. she's another one. I gotta give it to the woman in the middle of the camera. Julia, right now, that ball looks good to me. What a good answer. Yeah. What a good answer. He needed that. What a good answer. As many times as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pivotal ninth frame here. If he strikes, Cheryl can out lock him out. If he does not strike, Cheryl can go out the door in the ninth and tenth and beat her and take the beat him. He needs to strike here if he wants that opportunity to win because when Cheryl is not playing any games for him, last two shots were shots in a hole. She's trying to win his game. Nice frame, big shot here from Julia. Big shot here, big shot from Julia. We fight back! Fight back! We fight back! This girl's still on fire though. Stop leaving corner picks! Well, I was going to say, it's a two pick game right now. Cheryl, Cheryl cannot shut him out. Cheryl can make life very interesting for him though. She definitely can put pressure on him with this shot right here. Right now, you're looking at 226, 224. Oh. We'll say this, this spare will be coming. She makes spares.
Ball never got there. Uh, ball did not get there, and that is the beginning of the instrumental this game. That's what you can do. Uh, 25. And if he strikes out, that means going back. Correct here, he doesn't count. Julio is over the ball. And it's over. And obviously, if Cheryl is not right here, it's over. Now they pull the two wheels into one knee. Break it down both the way back. I mean, theor theoretically, Julio does have to put the ball on the lane in the 10th frame. That being said, that has been an issue. His issue has been missing spares, not putting the ball together. Be sure to cover your 10th frame. I look for you just now. I look that way. <laughs> and that way for you, but I heard that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. than what he needs, and he will win your turn. Well, well, here we are again, my friends. My old nemesis. <laughs> well, there, there's nothing, I, I will guarantee you that it'll make this one because there's no pressure on him whatsoever. I got a ball for What he did. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, wait a minute, we're going to have a conversation. No, nope. yep. Oh, he makes a seven pen. But no pressure. Wait, display how I mean, athletic you, you are, sir. Not this time. It was, no, was it was no pressure this time, bro. Like, ah, okay. Okay, no, no pressure. No, we, we, didn't, we didn't have a bet on that one. Wait, we all said you were going to make it because there's nothing on the line for it. I mean, that's sort of what they said. <laughs> <laughs> and your job is to not do what you just said. That's a problem. That is. Look about it. Hit that. So let's just go back to you. Sorry about that, people. Technical difficulties. We are now in game four. Only up two games to one. Oh, make sure. Oh, in game four, make sure it comes out. Eight count. Make sure we make an experience in there. And we're no trouble getting the ball to the blocking. But other than that, she's a fighter. Match is match nowhere near over. Rudy Feliciano to 29 and 30, please. Rudy Feliciano wins 29 and 30, please. Keep Bell. Booty, booty, what up? How you doing, sir? Booty up first grade, day four. And again, everybody, I'm eating. I mean, not while I'm talking, but I am eating. By the time I had food since breakfast, stop it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a job. 
I, I just told them what I'm eating though. I told them. Guess what? I've been full since 9 o'clock this morning. I've been up to 7 30. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. Just want to say so whoever left some she things over that you and may want to be using later on this evening or on lanes 25 and 26, so I'm not sure if please collect that. them. Is that if you are planning that. on doing things that you would not see in the movie, you may have left some. Things, paraphernalia on 25 and 26, please come over to collect them. Thank you. You know what a knockout? Knockout spell. Hey man, spells been championships, people. All of y'all know that. Yes, I'm smacking, I'm still eating. Pat gets more than me. I have to eat, I'm sorry. I only like Handicap winner take off. Julio's up two games to one. Over Big Shirt, this is Bucks and Bucks to wait back. Vote to wait back. I know it might say Mixon on there, but this is a vote to wait back. Julio will turn over back. Man, Julio made an awesome ball switch to start game two. And he has not looked back since. And then I'm bowling again later. Hey, yeah. It's like three games of eating wings. Hey, listen. But every time I'm eating wings, I tell them, hey. I'm eating wings. Can I go to the cruise division? You got a letter of win? Dougie, what's wrong with you? You want that work? Again. He said you want that work again. You heard what he said. Yeah. How many times when somebody asked you if they wanted to drink, or you just saw, okay, let's go. Let's go. GP, is you with me? Oh, yeah. Let's go. So, my teammate for the 2.30 on Hooters squad is tapping my shoulder like, hey, what's happening right here? Look. The count here is the, the count here is two to one. Was it Mandy? But we're gonna wait to find out. Ben Sherwood again, six count again. Ben Sherwood has had issues today with the ball getting back to the one three. It's just I think the ball she's throwing is just not the best way to get back to the one three. She definitely needs the one three. Yeah, she needed the ball chance. And I think she's stuck with this ball for way too long. And that ball is just, that ball is just not getting back. It's just not getting back. And Julio had that problem in game one as now, well. Now, the wing is back over here, so let's see if we made a show. Game one. But he made a ball Attention switch. Attention, UVA bowlers, please report to your lanes for practice. Please report so to listen, your lanes everybody. for practice. That's my cue, okay? Uh, you, don't I, give me a reason to move. By, by the way, Arsenal won four zips. So it looks like they're going to be coming back, back to that, back to the title match sooner rather than later. So I have, to, I have to tell you all goodbye. I will be back, I promise. It's not oh! that, and we see Julio was like, this is not the end of Pootie Boot. He will be back later. But he has to bowl the 230 on the Holy Squad. Boy, it was an honor. It's not over, though. I will be back, and we will continue this today at some point, sir. It was a pleasure doing this with you. This is awesome. Thank you, sir. Be back. I will, I will take care of the next round of food. That a prop. Yes, for us. Thank you. Yes, sir. Actually, what I would really love right now is one of those Gatorades. Right, right now, after losing the first game, yeah. and El, what is that, El Bumio? Is that El Bumio? So, 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 so now Julio is woken up, and took game two, took game three, and now he's got a three bag along the spare game go, four. Cheryl sure, right now got a strike in the fourth frame. Again, one of the things that we've been saying the entire game is ball change, ball change, ball change. You listen. She's still out. No, she is not. I, I think mine and mine is coming out. Uh, 
it's just been squirrely at this moment. And right now, at least seven minutes.
so a win, uh, so a win right there, yeah. plus other things, and you could be getting a gap. Yeah. I said we're trying to get a gap. Nick Averin, part of Arsenal that was successful today in winning for Zach. And it looks like Julio is going to go up 3-1 in, uh, in his match against Cheryl Mitchell. He's uh, going to uh, No, he just got it. Now this is first time offense. So now he's got a... Now he's got a uh, defend against Sean Mitchell one more time in one more game and because mathematically this game is pretty much over. Yeah. And we have another situation. Just as a reminder, we would like everyone to know there is no outside food or beverages inside Bola Rama. Much of the scanner you should be saying out of. All of your fans have left you, Julio. Huh? All of your fans got scared off and they left. You. Stop with me now. Go well, Julio's being asked for some more games if he wins. If he does not win, then he's got to bowl another game. And then if he doesn't win again, he's got to bowl another game. If he wins the next game, then that's it. I believe 
six pin over there. Sure. Hey, look. Julio is happy with his effort. His wife has the name I hate bowling on the back of her jersey. I know. She hates bowling. Cheryl means the spare. However, at the end of game four, Julio Hernandez 269, Cheryl Mitchell 181. Julio leads three to one. We are going into game five. The margin of error for Cheryl Mitchell right now is zero, aka El Chipo, meaning there's three games left to play. Cheryl Mitchell must win them all. If she does not, then Julio Hernandez will successfully retain the welterweight title. Or no, speaking of which, Julio starts game five. Hey, how we do a little call commentary here? No problem. I'm here with Wade Adams. How are you doing, sir? I'm alright. Life is good. How are you feeling? I'm doing okay. You're part of City Morgan now, I believe? Yes, sir. You yeah. guys were doing okay? I think you're in a little tacky match already. Yeah, um, we just won our last match, I believe. It was 30, 30, 10, 32, 8, something like that. Very nice, very nice. So Julio will start to get strike and he'll be right back. Julio is going to be running back and forth. Be Julio's up right now. His team is currently bowling the move. Yes. And he's bowling his match and unholy at the same time. That's dedication. <laughs> That's impressive. Right now Julio is up here, three to one. Oh. Well listen, so, three to one can turn to three three real quick. And, and if you're not posting and paying attention. So that's part of that. Part of that is Cheryl Mitchell also not being able to carry where Julio has been. Right now, good ball there. The lanes have been kind of tight today. At least we're getting out of the way. The lanes have not been what the lanes are. They are. But they're not difficult. They're tender. Yeah, but they're not tender. They're just a little tight down lane today. Yeah. Cheryl's going for the spare team. So where are you going, Julio? Uh, Ah, okay. We still gotta go too far. That's true. I'm not too late. Right, at least not on 62 or something like that. But yeah, we're gonna work out all day. Nothing over this table here. Yeah. When I pulled, I pulled on the level 12 earlier, and, yeah, they were, they were really tight, they were really tight before. I pulled five games, and my feet didn't go left to 25. I start fighting. I was Yeah, no, I. Like four. Four, I was left that far. Yeah, no, I literally did two. Alright, Cheryl Mitchell with the seven count. I'll make sure she, she covers him. If you haven't been to Bolderama, come to Bolderama not for the bowling, but for the wings. The wings is A1 from day one. The wings are amazing. The food here is just amazing in general. Yeah, the food here is really good, but the wings is the, is the catch. Yeah. And, and again, great job again to Bolderama for having a post of on the UBA stuff. Plenty on Holy Alliance. We'll be back here in August for Battle Bowl. It's always a fun time. Are we allowed to plug other tournaments that aren't UBA or UBA streams? Nope. Okay, that's why I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Julio with the pitch. Ooh. Got that one to the drop. That's a 4 7 9. Now we've been making fun of Julio missing his makeable spares. If he misses this one, at least he's got a good excuse. Right. And we're not going to jump on him on it. If he aim for the seventh, then he'll be alright. Okay. Maybe. You in the road? No. Oh, that's fine. He's telling him to aim at the seven. He's missed the seven almost the whole entire day. Wow. This is the second time that he's made the seven pin, and unfortunately, he's part of a slip. I guess my advice ain't that great. The advice was good, it just was never going to get taken. <laughs> In the words of the uh, Alonso Morissette song, it's free advice that you guys can't take. Right. Right now, Julio's up one on the open. That shot looks a little better. Hey, uh, guys. Now, what Cheryl is hoping for is when Julio did game one, 
which is strikes good, march bad. Right. See that one? That one was more up the lane. Than the last one, the last one, he got a break. You checked up. After the break. That's literally how. The, that's not even playing. Like, if you, but the problem is, is that if you get it, if you get it going up the middle of the lane with any kind of ball speed, it doesn't read at all. Okay, it's good unless you make a mistake, and if you make let make a mistake, it's four nine seven. Yeah. You, you, gotta pick, you can't make both. You gotta pick which one you wanna do and play the lanes like that. So right. if you're somebody who likes to miss right, you gotta do something that you know if you get it out there it's gonna turn the corner. Yeah. If you're somebody who likes to miss in, you wanna you wanna do something that's gonna that's gonna hold its line. At least that's how I saw it when I bought earlier. They you know with the, the, right. the re oil and all that, you'll never you never know once they re oil but you know, for me, I threw the ball all the way out, watch the hook all the way in. Yeah, because it is friction to the right. Oh, they absolutely just, It's just navigating it and getting it there. Yeah. That's like, Sarah Vicero, like that, you know, for her, and she's maintaining her lead. Again, this is game five. She's got to win this for the match. Yes. Yeah. I mean, she's making a threat to it right now, three frames in. Yeah. She got all closed frames. I mean, this, this match is... It's been less about Cheryl, and it's weird for you to say this, but if you've been watching the match from game one, you'll understand this. It's been less about Cheryl and more about Julio. Cheryl's pretty much been even keel, 162 to 200, somewhere around there. She wins when Julio is doing what he's doing now, and she loses if Julio destroys and, and strikes back. Let's see the feast of famine with this guy. Uh, so far, this guy's He doesn't like Sparrow. I see. Well, listen, in order to become a good bowler, you gotta not like spares either. People that average 240 ain't shooting a lot of spares. That's true, <laughs> but you may not have to like spares, you do have to know how to convert them. True. Because you will not be averaging 240 if you can't convert. And here's another potential trick. Now again, by making all the spares, this is what you're in game one. By making all the spares, you are going to force Julio now to start going strikes. And that's the unfortunate part. And this is tough. This is a lot of pins. A bucket. It can be... Especially when you're bowling on something where you're not really sure what your ball is going to do if you're not going to go straight at it. Right. And... Oh, everybody. Let's go. You got it. Okay, okay. Come on. Show still up by seven going into the fifth game. Show on a strike, really on this there. All right. Time for a prop. Over under seven and a half pins first ball for Julio right now. <laughs> he looks good right now. I'll take the over. He looks good on 29. You know what? New line. I'm setting it at eight and a half. <laughs> I'll still take the over. Hey, new line. He seems to be lined up on lane 29. It's 30, is that's the issue right now. He's got to figure that out. And I see a phone call in 30. Hopefully they're going to be set in the yard. I 
to see if she can put on some pressure. If she can, that'd be good. If she can't, and she opens, this could be the break that Julio needs. Did you see what I mean? Like that one? That yeah. one used, I mean, it didn't come up on the other three, but it didn't read the lane at all. It was in the middle of the lane. It's just hyper She's had that issue the whole entire day. Well, it's just not turned. However, Julio has a chance to make her pay and pay dearly. Heading on the next few frames. Yes, this can be ugly real quick. See what I'm doing right? See what I'm doing That is a big strike for Julio. That is double and it counts. He goes one more in the seventh frame. That is big time trouble for Cheryl. Thank you, Seinfeld. I like the time. We'll put down Julio's festivus all the way out like 29 and 30. Get it going up the up the middle of the lane. You know, at the beginning, I was going to say these two strikers should also be going. Hey, there's absolute five. final call on your side action. You have five minutes to get to the office. Once it's locked, it's locked. Absolute final call. If you're on the low side, send somebody with your sheet. I'm about to use. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure kicking in with two people in the UBA world. Absolutely. Yeah, you got home safe. Nah, I gotta go. Get back to it. All of a sudden, Cheryl, who is almost buried in this game, has got a chance to get right back into the game and in the match. But he's gotta get, she's gotta get at least a mark here. Double dribble. All right, got neat, out of trouble. I'm 
glad that you're they need to like jump back and forth ten times. I've been doing that in the six foot radius but not, not ten times. So why you like I'm doing double time. Oh that looks make oh no she didn't make it. Well, I was gonna say right now theoretically you'll bleed. Best show to do is a 187. If she goes out the door, Julio's got to find a double somewhere along the line. Just walking out will not be enough. Yep. Yep. Julio goes three marks and gets a double somewhere in that mix. something Julio didn't want to see, and there it is. 5-7 up there. The agents of the slow roll. Sometimes you do leave the splits. Is he going to make the spare? No. So right now, 6 pin game, so Cario is still up. Now we go to the ninth frame. Yep, this is eerily reminds everybody of game one. That's about 1.30 in the night, yes. Oh, well, that's what Julio has. A strike will keep him in control. Anything less than that can show him come out in the ninth and tenth and take him. And that is not a strike. That is, what is that, a 2 8? Another 2 8. Well, you've been known to say. People like, I'm going to get a wife over here. Hello. That's what I want. Julio's wife goes, yeah, he sucks. Now Julio, who has once again one spare out of four opportunities, has a chance here to make the spare and give himself a little bit of a cushion if he makes it and he does. However, and a big however here, Cheryl, if Cheryl strikes in the ninth and gets the first two in the tenth, she will win the game and we will go to a game set. right here, and not only does she not get it, she leaves herself a 4-5. Yeah, this, this one it has to be a spare. She's already down going into the break. She does not want to be down by more than one mark going into the town. That's depending on what she does. It's really almost even need a mark. The ball's got to stay in it. 136 for Shell going in 10th frame. Except this time, Julio does not have a 130 in the 9th frame. So here's the deal. Cheryl absolutely must strike out, and she needs Julio to make a big mistake. Shot here that's not a strike for any of the men.
Rodriguez, it doesn't matter in this case. She needed to go out the door. So it does not matter in this case. The game, unfortunately, is over. However, Julio Hernandez, with three hits, will retain the Wolves' weight title. I have a Gio over here to the right of me who I believe wants the title for himself. Had it once, couldn't hold on to it. That is true. But now he wants to get it. Only one obstacle, Nico Reese. Very good ball. And this house is perfect. It's it also is. a slow roll. That is seven, but that is enough. That is it. Yes, I can go. I even did the potato chip too. Yes. 